Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry, I was itching my head for a moment because I had a bad itch or whatever. But I'm returning to you finally for the Alicia Keys album review. And this is for her new album, Keys, that I just got done listening to for this 93 and a half minute album. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this uh, Alicia Keys album called Keys, and let you know what I thought of this new album of hers, so let's dive into this review. Now, I think there's like two sides to this album. One's the originals, and the other one's like the remix version, which is called Unlocked. Um, so, I enjoyed the originals. I think Plentyful featuring Pusha T, his rapping was good, Pusha T. But then when Alicia Keys comes in, the song, it sounds nice, but also just, it sounds basic, if you get what I'm saying, with her voice. It just, there were some moments of cringe in that song. And then Skydive really had some moments of cringe with her uh, vocals. So, for the first two songs, I'll give them 4.5 out of 5s. They're not bad tracks, they just missed its mark of being 5 out of 5, in my opinion. Uh, Best of Me was a great song. I really liked that one. 5 out of 5 for me. Dead End Road was a really good track. Highly recommend you check that one out when it comes out tonight at midnight. Uh, it was a really good song. Is It Insane was like a six, almost six and a half minute uh, song, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was very mellow, but Alicia Keys is known to make mellow music, mostly. But with her first side of it, it was good. The side one originals was good for what it was. Billions, not my personal favorite song. Uh, even with the remix one, I will get to the remix one in a moment. Uh, Billions is getting a 4.5 out of 5, not my personal favorite song. And Love When You Call My Name was a really good song, a very outstanding one. I really enjoyed it. Only You and Daffodils were really good. I like the Daffodils original version more than the remix. Because the remix, I will explain why I don't like the remix one in just a few minutes. Because I gotta finish up on uh, talking about side one of this album. Old Memories was a really good song. Nat King Cole... Not my personal favorite, but it's fine for what it is. So 4.5 out of 5. Uh, Paper Flowers featuring Brandy Carlisle was an outstanding track. Like Water and Keys, which Keys is an interlude to the next uh, side of the album. Which the next side is the remix. I think I'm giving tracks 13 and 14. Also, track 12, 5 out of 5s for all those. They were really good. So, overall, I think Side 1 was good for what it was. It's getting an 8 out of 10 for Side 1. I really enjoyed Side 1 more uh, than the second side of the album. Uh, only You from Side 2 was not too bad. It's my least favorite, but it starts off the second side of the album, alright, and Skydive, not feeling for Alicia Keys's weird moaning vocals in the song, I don't know, it's just a weird moaning vocal pitch that she hits, or something, I don't fucking know, but sorry about the ding, it's my phone, it's blowing up right now, probably my discord or whatever. Um, but yeah, Skydives and Only You are getting 4.5 out of 5s. Best of Me, the remix version to it was really good. So was La La, the unlocked version featuring Sway Lee was really good. So 5 out of 5 for that one too. 
I really enjoyed it. I'm just trying to breeze through this review so I get cover everything with this album. I'm trying to talk about some of the songs, but I gotta kind of rush it a bit just so you can see my overall rating for the album and what I'm gonna rate it. Uh, Nat King Cole featuring Lil Wayne was not a bad song. Lil Wayne's verse is alright. And uh, this song was a least favorite of mine, to be honest. So I gave it a 4.5 out of 5. It did alright. Even with Lil Wayne coming in the song, it kind of saved it a bit, but not enough to give it a 5, in my opinion. Uh, is It Insane, the remix version, was pretty good. It was shorter, so it was like 4 minutes and 27 seconds. So it's not that long of a track, but it's fine. It's a really good song. Come For Me featuring Khalid and Lucky Day was a really outstanding song. I really liked the beat to it. And overall, it's a really good track. Old Memories, Dead End Road, and Love When You Call My Name. Those beat versions to the song, to those songs were really outstanding. Really liked the remix versions for those songs. And they're getting 5 out of 5s for Old Memories, Dead End Road, and uh, Love When You Call My Name. Um, Daffodils, I'm not really liking the beat version to Daffodils, the or whatever that it does, It, if you hear what I'm trying to do. I know it sounds a little weird of me doing that. It's like a, it gets repetitive with that noise, that beat noise or whatever. I'm just not feeling for that. It really ruined the song a bit. So four out of five for Daffodils. I like the lyrics and I like how Leisha Keys is singing the song, but it's just the beat is really off with this track. And that's just my opinion. So four out of five. Billions, not a great way to end the album, but it's alright. It's better than the Daffodils remix version, so 4.5 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution. I think this album was average. It's another average album from Alicia Keys. I know I gave her last album, Alicia, 7.5. And, yeah, um, overall, like I said, uh, Alicia Keys, Keys album is an average album. I guess you can check it out if you want to. Um, if you're a big fan of Alicia Keys, you're going to like this album. But me personally, I think it's average. It's an average listen. It's not too bad. So for a score, I'm going to give Alicia Keys' Keys album a 7.5 out of 10, the same rating I gave Alicia last year, if you want to go check out that review. I know it was on my phone when I was reviewing albums, and I was reviewing albums on my phone since the beginning of my YouTube career of being on YouTube, so now I can do it on a laptop, and it's so much better, honestly. So, yeah, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Alicia Keys album, Keys, if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this album review I made for you guys tonight for Alicia Keys' album, Keys, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. I hope you enjoyed my new Skillet track review for Refuge. I didn't hate that song. I just, like I said, personally for me, it's not a bad song. But I do have to mention in the track that when I listened to that song, it really had a sad, ominous melody. A really sad melody and very depressive melody, if I'm being 100% honest uh, with trying to listen to it again. But I didn't hate the song. It was better than the other two crappy songs that Skillet made earlier this year. Or this fall or whatever. 
But that's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when listening to that new Skillet track, Refuge. But I hope you enjoyed this Alicia Keys album, Keys, the album review I made for you guys tonight. Um, it is getting a 7.5 out of 10, in my opinion. It's an average listen. If you find this album to be enjoyable, I guess you're going to love this album when it comes out at midnight. So, uh, anyways, I will return to you for Jaden's uh, Tell Me About Tomorrow Deluxe Edition re review. It's probably going to be sometime tonight, late tonight, I guess you could say. And then I'll get around to doing Good Charlotte's uh, next album review for their next marathon studio album review for I think it's called Good Morning Revival that I'm going to be reviewing, which I heard a lot of bad criticism about that album. <laughs> so I hope I'm not going to hate this album, but who knows? I'm reviewing that in the morning, so stay safe, guys. Take care. Sorry for dragging this video out very long. Just had to go into some minor detail of what I listen to when listening to this Alicia Keys album, and I'll definitely see you in my next review.